What's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Thought I'd give you a little review of this fat cat Frisco pool table. I've owned it now since about mid-February. And we are approaching mid-May. I paid $999 at walmart.com for this table. It is very sturdy and well constructed. It is not slate, of course, in that price range, but is the company's version of it, if you will. They call it AccuSlate, <laughs> which is your normal particle board, but they treat both sides of it and spray it in some kind of PVC coating and give it a 70 year warranty of warping. Now, is it perfect? No, you're not going to get perfect on any surface that is not slate. But it is very good. You're only going to notice it off when the balls are rolling slow, like along this rail. It might drift a little this way, same there, a little bit down there. But you don't even notice these during play, hardly at all. And the cushions are really responsive. Down in the back, nice and easy for lagging. This table is a lot of fun. Me and the D and D game play it every Friday before we begin our session at six p.m. And I even have some of them coming over on the week the weekends sometimes to play. So I replaced all the balls and the cues that came with the table. They were beyond cheap. The balls would lose paint with every impact. Just after a week of having the balls that came with the table, there was chips all over them. I could see those balls being unreadable in six months. <laughs> and they were horribly balanced and didn't roll good on this non sleek surface. So I spent $89 on the bottom row, so to speak, for the Aramis balls, and they're fantastic. So I'll give you a little demonstration. I've got the magic rack. I love it. Got two balls in on the brake, as you can see. Pretty good spread. Um, I didn't totally clear that rack. Sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot. But I had a rack for 15 ball. I'm just going to strip any ball in any order. The table is a lot of fun. Gotten a lot of enjoyment out of it. And though they skimped out on the quality of balls and cues that they supplied with this table, everything else felt is really good. Hold it up well. I brush it about once a week. This room's got limited space, so I do have three troubleshooters for some of the corners. I've got a 42 inch length, a 48 inch length, and a little Sheila Q, that I call it. It's a little 36 inch. Do the combination down there, 10 3. All of us in the Dungeons and Dragons group are in our mid 40s or early 50s and play a lot of pool in our lives, but not in a long time until I got this table. So every one of us are relearning the game, so to speak, because back in the 80s and 90s, we were playing a lot. And we took a lot of time off. I've never owned my own pool table, so this is a joy for me.
Not bad uh, bottom of the line McDermott Q. Uh, Doug has a really good midline one. Not much balls here left to sink. Let's see. I'm going to call it eight into the seven. Seven caroom off the corner of the cushion there and into the side pocket. Nope. Wrong pocket. That would be a foul. Ball would be respotted. But yeah, this table is a lot of fun. Let's bring these up. As you can see, the rolls are really good. Especially with these Aramis balls. I highly recommend them on any pool table that is non slate Fouled it in for the scotch. <laughs> None of us have fingernails, so we use a playing card to get the magic rack off. <laughs> anyway, on a scale of 1 to 10, for this price range of pool table, i got to give the fat cat Frisco a solid 8, boys and girls and others. Uh, the cushions are really good, responsive. The felt, excellent. The surface, very playable. By the way, it is a six foot and a half length and half that width. So it's your basic box bar, bar room table size. Okay. Keep on keeping on everybody. And that will give you a full look. Oops, at the table here. Cause she is a handsome one. Got the nice legs and the nice leather pockets here for the balls. This is, uh, of course, you guessed it, mahogany veneer. <laughs> so, even though it's not, it is pretty damn solid, though. It's so well built. And if you do get this table, the only thing I got to warn you about is the arrival rate in box is 419 pounds folks it is hefty i had to bring it downstairs but luckily didn't have to take it upstairs and it was three of us and it was real tough assembly time was a few hours but worth it it's a great non-slate table hopefully the surface will remain true and not get warped on me for at least seven years. We'll wait and see. Have a good day, everybody.